everybody and welcome back to my channel for this Sunday morning, afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at. And this article that I'm bringing to you has really got my blood boiling. It is from the dailymail.co.uk website. And as you can see, the headline reads, Missouri Pastor Rick Morrow resigns from school board after claiming that children with autism are possessed by a demon and that God doesn't make mess ups. Pastor Rick Morrow of the Belura Church resigned from the local school board after claiming autism can be cured by casting out demons. Morrow has stood by his comments repeating that demons cause autism. Stoutland School District Board, however, denounced the comments and social media users have piled on to Morrow. So we're going to scan down. Stand back up. Sorry, sorry, my computer's just gone bonkers on me. Hold on a second. A Missouri pastor has resigned from his local school board after he claimed that children with autism are possessed by a demon because God doesn't make mess ups. Pastor Rick Morrow of the Belura Church in Richland sparked a massive backlash in the community after saying autism can be cured by casting out a demon during a live stream sermon. Well, either the devil has attacked children with autism in brackets, he's brought this infirmity upon them, he's got them, or God doesn't like them that much, and he made them that way. My God doesn't make junk, Morrow said during his September 6th sermon. So we're going to scan down a little more. Oops and show you who this guy is, this disgusting, vile individual in that photo there. And we're going to read what he also said. Quit putting a Band-Aid on it and saying, oh, it will be okay. We just need to treat this or to treat that. How about you just cast the demon out and treat all the problems? So this guy is just a disgusting, vile human being who needs to be struck off from any church board. Here he is again in the picture of his church. And we've actually got the audio, which I am going to play, because it is public domain and YouTube can't do anything about it. So I am going to scan down and actually play this video for you. Hopefully it will play, I'm hoping so. Can you sell your car online for a guaranteed price, have your car collected and get paid immediately? Kazoo, yeah you can. Okay. It's very crucial someone has a physical infirmity and you cast that demon out, you might have to pray for some things to be fixed. Let's talk about one. Let's talk about autism. I'm going to put it back to the beginning so you can actually hear what he says on the video. You might have to pray for some things to be fixed. Let's talk about one. Let's talk about autism. Rick, did you just go there? Yeah. Like I know a minister who has seen lots of kids that are autistic, that he cast that demon out and they were healed and then he had to pray and their brain was rewired and they were fixed. Yeah, I just went there. I mean, you can get online and see lots of examples of it. If it's not demonic then we have to say God made them that way. Like that's the yeah, only other that? explanation. Why is it my kid in a unique, have different autism? Way, fucking moron. Well, you know, the devil's attacked them. He's brought this infirmity upon them. He's got it's them not where an he wants infirmity, them. You and freaking or moron. God it's just doesn't like them very much and he moron. made them that way. Well, my God doesn't make junk. We're not junk. We're not damaged. We're not sick. Oh my God, you fucking God doesn't moron. make mess ups. God doesn't make people that way. He made us to be different. So let's quit what being is wrong nice with you? 
and putting a Band-Aid on stuff and giving it medicine. And this, this goes so much bigger than autism, people. I, I just gave you that as, as an example. And I made a statement Wednesday night talking about demons. And we're going to keep talking about them on Wednesday night. And I made a statement. I said, let's talk about something demonic. And I said, autism. And then I said, God doesn't make junk. Those of you that know me know that I love people. And I would never say that people are junk. It has been perceived... That I'm evil, it. that I am full of the devil, that I am possessed myself. Because I said, kids said with autism are junk. That's what has been perceived. That's what you what said, intended, you moron. I've just listened to it. It was Liar. autism is junk. People that have it are loved by God and loved by me. You are a walking contradiction. Now I've tried, I've tried to reach out to some of the mob mentality that's attacking you, you right now. Um, I, I can't get anywhere. I'm an adult with autism. Dude. I have you're been told that autism is a blessing from God. I have been told that I'm the evil one. But you know what? If I was to stand up here and say cancer is junk, people would agree. If I were to stand up here and say addiction is junk, people would agree. But for some reason, when I shine the light on this subject, it has been blown so far out of proportion. It's very crazy. So that is what he actually said. Here is the proof for yourself. You can watch it later again if you wish to. But I have shown you the video. I have shown you the proof of what he actually said. He is a total walking contradiction hypocrite. He then turns around and tries to say, oh, I never said people with autism are junk or people with autism are possessed. Yes, you did. You are vile. You are a disgusting human being who then says, oh, poor me, poor me, poor me. I've been attacked. Well, go figure, dude. Like, are you serious? Like, you have called the autistic community demons, devil-possessed, and then you turn around and said, oh, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I've watched it over and over and over again. You basically just said that we need to pray our autism away. How dare you? How dare you tell me that my autism needs to be prayed away, that I'm devil-possessed, demon-possessed? Dude, you have no sense of reality or no sense of what autism is. You offensive, disgusting, vile hypocrite. Go and get yourself some education lessons on autism, dude. Get yourself away from the church, for one. You are not a preacher. You are a hate preacher. And two, you should never, ever be allowed to get away with what you've just said. And I thank God that someone has seen sense to strike you off the school board because that is unacceptable that is hate on every level how dare you attack one selected community you have no idea how damaging your words are to the amount of young people who have heard you the amount of young young adults who are being diagnosed the amount of older adults who are finally finding out who they are after decades upon decades of searching for answers and they hear your voice saying you're devil possessed you're demonic Really? Take a good look at yourself, dude. You are vile. You are offensive. And I will call people you out every day. I do not care. Do not attack the autistic community. How dare you? You lack knowledge quite clearly. And two, you should not be a church preacher. You are, that is a shambles, what you've just said. Absolute shambles. And it's just, no, no on every level, dude. You are vile. And I hope to God other people continue to call your ass out because you're just not a nice person, period. Guys, let me know if you agree with me down in the comment section down below. I will link the article in the video section down below. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.